Henry Nouwen said, "Solitude, silence, and prayer are often the best ways to solve knowledge, not because they offer solutions for the complexity of our lives, but because they bring us in touch with our sacred center where God dwells." Self knowledge is in short supply today because we do not have enough time to reflect. We don't have silence built in into our lives. Instead, our lives are designed to be filled with noises, and noises that come from phone and, and noises that come from our daily schedule, and these things all rob us of hearing what God has to say to us. And what we really need to say to God. The aim of spiritual discipline of silence is to be quiet enough, or is to be quiet long enough, to hear what God has to say to you, and to actually articulate what you have to say to God. Maybe there is a healing that needs to happen in your life. Maybe there's a sin that you're holding on, but you never really got to think about these things because you're numbing yourself with all these noises around you. But when you are silent in front of God, these voices slowly leak out of your heart, and they get to present themselves to God, and. You really do hear God's、uh, voice in the sense that you get to discern what God's will is for you. While this is challenging, and I know that I'm not explaining everything here, but I promise you that once you taste the sweetness of the silence, and the way that it liberates you to connect with God and and with yourself, you will just keep coming back for more. Don't be discouraged if you miss a few days, or you find some of these things difficult. The whole idea here is not for you to tick off all the boxes, but to enjoy connecting with God whenever you can, and to trust that God loves you, and He is present here with you, and filling you with the hope that you will be made into His image.